Good day everyone! Today let's talk about the difference between inference and prediction. Learning competency make predictions based on evidence, objectives, define prediction, give examples of predictions, and formulate predictions based on facts. Let's talk first about inference. Inference is a conclusion or opinion that is formed because of known facts or evidence. It is a prior knowledge or past experience is used to make judgment, conclusion, or opinion. Senses are not used in forming judgment, conclusion, or opinion. The inferring process. So this is the process that you will follow in making inference. Ask these questions, what did I observe? What do I already know? How can my knowledge explain what I observe? What does this mean? Example, what did I observe? You observe that Sophie is laughing while watching a movie. What do I already know? So you know that comedy movie makes the audience laugh. So how can my knowledge explain what I observe and what does this mean? So, if comedy movie makes audience laugh and Sophia is laughing while watching a movie, then Sophia is watching a comedy movie. So, what is now our inference based on our observation? Sophia is watching a comedy movie. Let's talk about prediction this time. Prediction is a statement about what you think will happen in the future. It is a guess what might happen in the future based on observations. When making prediction, ask these questions. What did I observe? Is there any pattern through classification? Is there a connection of what I observed to my knowledge? What is my prediction? Let's take a look at this example. What did I observe? So, you observe or I observe that it is cloudy. So, is there any pattern through classification? Yes, and what's the pattern? If it is cloudy, it might rain. Is there a connection of what I observe to my knowledge? Yes, if it is cloudy, it might rain. So what is now my prediction? So, if it is cloudy, then it is going to rain this afternoon. Let's have another example. The observation is, I yield plenty of string beans. So what's the prediction? If I add fertilizer to my plant, then I will yield more string beans. So inference versus prediction. Here is the observation. It's found at the center of the Venn diagram. The boy has a chronic calf, runny nose, sore throat, and body aches. What is our inference here? We can infer that the boy is sick due to COVID-19 because the boy manifests the symptoms of COVID-19, which are runny nose, sore throat, and body aches. So based on this, we can predict that if the boy sick with COVID-19 is not isolated, then his family will be infected. So, inference and prediction, what's the difference? So, in inference, it is an interpretation or explanation of an observation. While in prediction, you are making a guess on what might happen in the future based on your observation. So, inference and prediction are both formulated or they are both formed from an observation. 
and inference and prediction are both scientific skills. Okay, they are both basic process skills. So, activity time. Number one, make an inference based on this statement. I observed the animal has fins. It swims in water. What is your inference? You can infer that the animal is a fish because you have a knowledge that fish have fins and they swim in water. Number two, I heard that there is a granular lockdown in Arenina village due to COVID-19. Make a prediction on the scenario. What's your answer? We can predict that if there is a granular lockdown in Arenina village, the residents will receive food package from the barangay. So this is just one of the predictions. You can make another prediction out of this observation. I hope that you learned something. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to click like, share, and subscribe. Have a great day.